Welcome to this video on budgeting using the optional tables, optional tables Excel add-in and Info Explorer write back. My name is Anne and in this video I'm focusing on how to use the Excel add-in and Info Explorer with budget write back to support your budget process. But firstly, are optional tables and Info Explorer with write back for you? Do you need to prepare budgets and rolling forecasts and save them in Sage 300 for future analysis? Do you do top-down or bottom-up budgeting and find data entry time-consuming? Do you like the idea of a powerful BI tool with real-time slice and dice capability plus integrated budgeting and forecasting? If so, then have a look at this video. The webinar presents a budgeting scenario for a fictitious company selling office supplies. They have four guiding principles in their budget cycle. They use both bottom-up and top-down budgeting, bottom-up at the start of the process and top-down as part of their rolling forecast. They have clear objectives and assumptions, which are communicated to the teams and documented, facilitating collaboration. Their bottom-up budget is based on last year's growth with some budget goals and subsequently the rolling forecast is based on top-down revisions of the budget in conjunction with the actuals to date. The divisional managers can adjust the calculated budgets as is required for their division and the group manager can consolidate and do top-down revisions on the consolidated budget. They take a strategic approach to budgeting, meaning the different divisions are at different stages of the strategic contribution to the business and their budgeting approaches can differ depending on where they are in their cycle. They also have a clear budget cycle and real-time analysis of actual versus budget during the year. Initially, the annual budget is approved by the board. They have quarterly revisions and reviews and a rolling forecast, and they use the most appropriate tool at the most appropriate time in the budget cycle. We're now going to demonstrate each key step using optional tables, the Excel add-in, and Info Explorer with Sage 300. This webinar assumes you have a basic knowledge of optional tables and Info Explorer, and please see our website for additional videos on those products. The budget process that we're going to follow follows the principles previously discussed. Initially, the finance manager starts the bottom-up process using the agreed assumptions for growth. The divisional manager will then adjust based on their individual goals. The finance manager will then consolidate the divisional budgets and check the totals against the strategic goals. And once final, the budget is going to be finalised and made available to all the reporting tools within SAGE 300. The first step, the finance manager is going to use the GL Financial Reporter, enter the assumptions for the budget and generate the spreadsheets for each of the individual divisional managers. Embedded in the spreadsheets will be the optional tables Excel add-in, which will allow the budgets to be written back into SAGE 300. Using the financial reporter, we have designed a spreadsheet which shows us the last two years actuals, 2019 and 2020, and calculates the growth on the year on year, and then uses our adjustment factors of revenue growth, cost of sales percent growth, and other expenses percentage growth, and calculates a projected budget for the year 2021. We are then using Excel to take that value and divide by 12. And finally, we're using the Excel add-in to take those monthly figures and update through to Sage 300. I'm going to use FRView to generate a workbook with all the tabs, one for each department. And because I'm going to send the workbook to the divisional managers who won't have access to FR at the time of entering their budget figures, I'm going to run the report as separate for each division, and I'm not going to tick formulas. So I select the period, select that I want it split by segment and a separate tab per segment, 
and go ahead and run. And I end up with one tab per department plus one tab for those figures that have been posted without a department. And I need to repaste my formula from my sample spreadsheet back onto the FR generated spreadsheet because I ran the workbook without including formulas. And this is the Excel add-in formula that will update the SAGE 300 figures accordingly. Dissecting the formula, EB for the Excel add-in, says take the value 14 to the left of the current formula, update the optional table forecast, the optional field budget value using the GL account 19 to the left and the date, fiscal year and fiscal period in the columns above. And before sending the spreadsheet to the departmental managers, we would hide up these columns to make the spreadsheet look cleaner. We've seen how we could use the GL Financial Reporter to enter our assumptions in terms of revenue and cost of sales growth and expense growth and to generate spreadsheets for the departmental managers to use. We've also seen how the GL Financial Reporter can expand out and embed the formulas used for the Excel add-in. We're now going to see the process from the divisional departmental manager. They receive the spreadsheet with the calculated budget for a bottom-up budget calculation, and they can make adjustments per division and then update using the Excel add-in or send back to the budget coordinator so they can update SAGE 300 using the Excel add-in. As the Department 100 manager, I could verify these figures, check the overall percentage increase, change any figures either in total or month by month, and when I'm happy, send back my spreadsheet to the budget coordinator. Similarly for the Department managers of 200 and 500. As the budget coordinator, I can open up the completed Excel templates using this icon, which has an add-in, which allows me to update SAGE 300. So using Department 100's updated figures, for example, this formula will update SAGE 300 with the figure for January 2021. So if I'm happy with these figures, I can update SAGE 300 by selecting the right option from the Excel add-in. And so on for the other departments. At this stage, I can either use linked spreadsheets to view the consolidated budget, or I could use Info Explorer and view the consolidated budget through Info Explorer. And this data has been updated in the appropriate configured SAGE 300 company database. There's an example of the budget where there was no division and a sales budget for division 200. In Info Manager options, you can create as many information codes as you require, like forecast, and you can associate as many optional fields with that info set as you need, in our case, budget value. We are now going to use Info Explorer to consolidate the different department budgets, to make adjustments based on the consolidated view, and update SAGE 300 using Info Explorer right back. We can use Info Explorer to view the consolidated data or to see the budgets per department. This view is showing us the consolidated budget figures for all the divisions, but if we were to drag down the division, we could see how the sales, for example, was split out by division. And if we wanted to see it by month, we could drag down the month and then see per division 
per month. And if we needed to do further revisions to these budget figures, we could either go back to the original spreadsheets and do amendments to the spreadsheets and re-update using the Excel add-in, or we could use Info Explorer with the write-back license to do top-down revisions. So for example, if the 34 million sales was too low, we could create ourselves a new work set and adjust the sales figure either department by department or in total. I'm going to do a percentage increase adjustment and type in here 5%. So from 34 million it's gone to 36 million and you can see all the amended figures in pink and that was done at a month by month, account by account, department by department level. And we could adjust just an individual department if that was required. Do a 3% increase on the cost of sales for the commercial division and so on. This data can be stored. The cube could be emailed to somebody to check. But when you're happy with those results, you can elect to write back, which will update all the amended cells back to Sage 300. And the amended budget data can be seen back in Sage 300 in the associated optional table info set. We have seen how you can use Info Explorer to consolidate the divisional or departmental budgets how you can make adjustments based on the consolidated view using a top-down methodology, and how you can update Sage 300 using the write-back from Info Explorer. Now, in order to finalize the budget in this particular company, they want to update the GL budget set one. So, so far, all the data has been stored in optional tables, and at this point, we want to update GL budget set one so that the budget data is available for all the various SAGE 300 reporting utilities on GL budget. So we're going to use the optional table macro and update GL budget set one. Back in the appropriate company, you can add an icon to your desktop with the GL budget macro. Here you can select the budget code that you want to use. In our case, we've been working in forecast. Select the optional field that you want to send through. In our case, it was budget value. And select which GL budget set you want to send it through, together with the fiscal year. And now we can go to the budget inquiry in GL and review our budget in the GL together with the assumptions that we had had on our initial spreadsheet. We have now seen how to update our GL budget set one using the optional table macro to take the data from the optional tables to GL budget set one. And this is required for other reporting tools where you want to report on your budget from the budget set one. In summary, we've seen how to use the GL Statement Designer to create a bottom-up budget based on last year's growth, how to use optional tables and the Excel add-in to allow divisional managers to make refinements to the bottom-up budget and update through to Sage 300, how to use Info Explorer to view the consolidated budget and to do refinements to meet the strategic goals. And finally, how to use the optional tables macro to update GL budget set one with our optional table data. And as the year progresses, you can use Info Explorer to create a rolling forecast. 
to copy the first quarter actual data into a new forecast and then to copy the budget from April through to December into the same forecast and then update budget set two to share the rolling forecast with all the other team members. Using Info Explorer and a cube on the GL budget sets, budget set one and budget set two, I can use Info Explorer with the write back license to copy budget set one to budget set two, and I could also copy actuals two as well, and then I could have a rolling forecast. But I'm just going to copy budget set one to budget set two using a top down proportional spread, collapsing the rows so I can see all the totals and expanding out the columns so I can see the columns. Going to the work sets tab, I can create a new work set. And I'm going to key in my total budget value for budget set one into budget set two, but this time using the proportional spread method. And instead of using the current spread in budget set two, which is all zeros, I'm going to use the spread in my budget set one and the fiscal designator one. And the total has been spread to budget set two using the proportional spread of budget set one and all the accounts and individual periods, division by division, region by region, have been updated. And we can update these back through to the Sage 300 budget set two. We have just seen how Info Explorer with a write back license can assist you in creating a rolling forecast and how to update back through to the GL budget sets so that all report writers can access the same data. So we've seen using the Excel add-in and Info Explorer write back, we can use the flexibility of Excel without rekeying data. You can use a choice of powerful spreading methods in Info Explorer to do top-down revisions. These two tools support flexible budget cycle and a rolling forecast. And the Info Explorer right back to Sage 300 allows you to do top-down revisions efficiently and update Sage 300 effectively. And the optional tables Excel add-in supports your bottom-up budget process. Please go to orchid.systems for more information on optional tables and other orchid products. Thank you for your time.